Uh, hello everyone. Back to my Minecraft builds in Planet Zoo. <laughs> yeah. In the last episode, we worked on this. So I asked y'all to leave comments to name your meerkats. We've got two comments, one from Travis It's Fire, which said for a baby meerkat, we're gonna name them Mordecai. Let's go down to Mordecai. So there's baby Mordecai. There's your meerkat, Travis. I hope I hope you like her because there were, oh, she's pooping. Okay, where is Baked CD? <gasps> there's Baked CD. But there you go, Bex, there's Baked CD. I was hoping they would do something interesting, but so far Mordecai just poops and Baked CD seems to go missing quite frequently. Today we're working on the gardens. I did do a little stuff off camera. This precarious swing that is totally safe. This little pond. We've got some watermelon patches, some aloe vera. This Jeep, it does fit on the path. I drove it, I was like, and parked it. Let's, let's exit this camera. <laughs> Goodbye to me. Last episode, we built the farmhouse, my starter farmhouse from Minecraft. And I told you that the next thing was gonna be the gardens. I went ahead and laid down this little prefab thing. I thought it was cute. I wanted to use it. I don't use the prefabs enough. Here's the gardens. Here's a nice lovely picture of the gardens, the part that we'll be working on today. It's so one of the things I didn't use last time, but I love very much is this terrain stamp tool. And this thing is going to allow us to make a nice reflection pool as Always, I'm going to struggle with scale. It's fine, nobody panic. Scale is not my first name, or is it my last or middle? Why make things difficult if you don't have to? Yeah. All right, get, get, why is my camera? Get, why are you so slow? Boop, 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 boop. I'm putting a trim around this while I'm doing this. So it was requested by Lady Bexilla that we put flamingos in this part of the gardens. And I, yeah, I agree. I was thinking peafowl, but with this big pond, flamingos, I think that's gonna be where it's at. Uh, Cause if not, our pond is not gonna get much use. And it's just big enough that I think we can get away with having many flamingos. So many, too many. <laughs> anything I love. It's too many of something. <laughs> Overboard. Who's she? I am a uh, too many boards. In one of the recent updates, select water. <sighs> Azure. <gasps> Cosmic cow. Golby. What's next on the checklist? I cannot understand any of this. Ow. I'm so good at this. Eh? It's not lining up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's go rustic. I think I like this. Can you, we'll still do, have to. <laughs> okay, I tried. I did, I, <laughs> it looks like a poop. We'll, we'll figure it out at some point, okay? I, it's just not a thing I apparently can do right now. I'll check the workshop. Cause maybe, maybe somebody's made some mountains on the workshop and like stuck them as a habitat or something like that. For now, let me get these paths back in. Why are you doing this to me? Why, is it in effects? It's in special effects, isn't it? Water, yes. Can you turn these blueprints off? We have the, the, we have these, these rocks. Pretty, you know, a lot of the physics of what I'm doing <laughs> right now, it doesn't make any sense. Am I gonna continue to do it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh no, I wasn't recording and I've been talking this entire time, but I made these things. I do like these. And now I'm wondering whether we should have just two of them or even just one. I kind of like just having the one at the end. I'm so glad to be back in time lance, time, time, time lapse land. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, life building is. <laughs> It's fun sometimes. We're working on right now, just some feeders. Everything's gonna cut a lot in both this time-lapse and the other one because I had so much. I had 11 hours worth of footage and it's mostly because I didn't know what I wanted to do. So most of the footage is me like dilly-dallying or trying out different things that don't work out. So I just cut it or, you know, and I also slow down and speed up some things. I'm trying to fix things so we don't all get motion sickness. <laughs> and it's hard for me to determine 
determine how fast or slow it needs to be. So we're building up the little boxes. Uh, I did put the feeder up here, but then I didn't like it, so it moved, so don't worry about it. But I love these little stair pieces. We used them in the meerkat habitat, and I don't remember whether I spoke on them or not. They're supposed to be decorative stairs for the walls. You know, they're not actually stairs. They're decorative wall pieces. They just work really well <laughs> as so like small stairs. <laughs> But I'm obsessed with them. I'm obsessed, especially in this build. It, it works out so well for it. The flamingos are not gonna be happy with most of their foliage. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. There's a lot of foliage that is gonna go in today, but right now we're just focusing on putting in the bare bones in this time lapse, like just something. But while we're doing that, I just finished my rewatch of Downton Abbey again. Like I binged all this series and then watched the movie again. And it just gets me every time. It's not that anything like sad, it's just like bittersweet. I love Downton Abbey so much so much but i did a google they were supposed to do a sequel movie but because of the the panorama you know i assume things got postponed but i really hope that they are able to film it and get it out and that the studios say yes we're absolutely gonna do this because i just i need that i need some happy i need some like feel good with like a familiar character set you know what I mean? Like, have you ever watched a show for so long that those characters are just like your comfort characters? I don't know. There's my Downton Abbey rant right there for a second, but <laughs> we're gonna finish getting all of the bones together and then go back into doing some more building. <laughs> so as far as the flowers that we're gonna use, because I'm not gonna talk in this second time lapse, the flowers, I basically took the words from, um, I basically took the words from Minecraft and then searched them and just went with whatever like came up. And if that didn't work, I just scrolled through and I was like, that's purple, <laughs> you know? Like we don't have tulips or anything like that. I found that we don't really have any of the flowers like that are the same names. They're probably just named something different because I am, we have roses, but we don't have red roses. All right, enjoy the rest of the episode. Okay, I've had a sleep. Now it's flower place in time. This is what I have so far. I love this. Look at the little flamingos. I don't know which part these were for. Times. Oh, okay. It's for the time scenarios. So what I did in Minecraft is I just randomly play stuff, which is what we're going to do now. So let's, I just went like this. Boop, 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 boop. Stop it. We need the purple ones since we don't have alliums. It does look like a hot mess. I'm not going to lie. It looks so questionable. Can the people even see into this once I put all these flowers in? Probably not. But you know what? Is this bark for the people? No. It's for me. It's for everything I want. All the choices that I want to make. I mean, but to be fair, okay, reference photo. There's a lot of flowers in that reference photo. There's like a lot. I had to farm so many. Honestly? Honestly? The golden rod really? <laughs> it really helped. Editing me here, just making a note that I use prefabs for the staff buildings. I think it's like the India theme. Apparently just didn't say it in the video and assumed you knew. I didn't build those. <laughs> They're really pretty though. Flamingo. How many do we have? Not enough, but we can start with these. Serious injury? From who? How did you get injured? Amelia. How? Now that we have flamingos, let's finish this out in our second time lapse.
And it's done. So let's go into our trusty uh, tangent cam. There were some changes that weren't in the time lapse, so we'll go over those. But uh, do we go left or right? Let's go left. It feels unnatural. But here's our gardens. Um, I was right about the plants being a little tall, but they can still see the flamingos. Oh my gosh, there's, what is with the litter? There's trash cans right here. <laughs> Just a little like, heads popping up. I love the view back here with the trees. I think once this side is done, it's going to be so pretty. So the, the change was that there were two of these over here and I just it didn't like it. I didn't like it. So I put one over here and hello, goodbye. They really do like running on the little platforms. They all walk on it. I moved one of the feeders over here and I was debating whether getting rid of that one, but I want to add like way more flamingos in here. Like so many. For now, this is good though. They have little stairs so they don't get hurt going in. Now I had to put a pathway for the keepers. Then I also did stairs for the flamingos to go straight into the water. It does cover our waterfall a bit, but I'm over that. It's still pretty. You can still see it. Up here is our little private area for them. Guests don't come up here because there's no path. Only keepers come up here. Look at sleeping babies. Well, they're not babies, but they're sleeping. You can I did see the UFO. <laughs> Let's head up here. This came out better than I, I thought. Uh, once we get this trail done, it's gonna be so pretty back here. I like the pots. They are a little place, strangely, but they kind of cover up uh, flaws. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. Here's our view from the top. I love these gardens. Up here is just the, the path, but I do want to show you, even though it's not done, I want to show you the view from up here. Look at this view. I don't know what's going to go up here. It might just be a regular nature path. So my tiny spawn was getting pretty bored and uh, I was like, well, do you want to come play? What do you think this needs? And he said an ice cream stand. We did ice cream and water. I let him pick the color scheme, which was actually these benches. So they're this deep purple, this kind of like rosy pink and then this uh, blue. So you'll see the benches. I'm so, he's so cute. He's just, he's a tiny spawn and uh, and then we used a prefab shell for the shops. I say we because he did help me, but look, this is this is the part I love the most. My small human has an eye for detail. And one of those details is lighting. This was him. This is his little, I'm so proud of him. So if he's watching, this is you, this is your ice cream shop. And it looks amazing. Oh, right. We have to get like a side by side, which is just going to be. <laughs> do, 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 do. Eh, we went a little overboard. It's fine. I've had a lot of fun building this and it was quite the experience, um, quite the experience. So I uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And as always, oh, we're running. We're running somewhere. <laughs> yes, get it. I will see y'all in the next one. <laughs> oh, bye.